Roman Reigns leaving WWE for good, real reasons why Dominic Mysterio lost his NXT North American title at deadline. Dominic Mysterio takes issue with Judgment Day after devastating loss, Jade Cargill to win the WWE Royal Rumble, and face Rhea Ripley, CM Punk shares backstage photo with his children. After appearing at NXT deadline, WWE superstars neglecting one major aspect of wrestling, WWE has unbanned major word. Let's jump right into it. Real reasons why Dominic Mysterio lost his NXT North American title at deadline. Dominic Mysterio experienced an unexpected conclusion to his NXT North American Championship reign at deadline 2023 when he faced Dragon Lee in a title bout. He was originally scheduled to lock horns with Wes Lee, but Rey Mysterio announced Dragon Lee as Wes's replacement due to the latter's injury. Before the start of the title bout, the master of 619 appeared at NXT deadline to introduce Dragon Lee and join the commentary table. The match took a surprising turn when Lee executed his signature maneuver, securing the pin over Dominic to end his title reign. Notably, Rhea Ripley and the remaining Judgment Day members weren't at ringside for the match. As the title change surprised many, let's discuss three reasons why the Judgment Day member lost his NXT North American title on the show. Number 3. Dominic Mysterio Might have lost his title to initiate the Judgment Day's end. One possible reason Dominic lost his NXT North American Championship at deadline could be to initiate the end of the villainous faction. With no faction members present at ringside during his match, Dirty Dom might blame his stablemates for the massive loss. This could lead to internal conflicts within the group, setting a stage for a Judgment Day member to betray his allies. It's crucial to note that the dissolution of the entire faction may not happen instantly, but the group could begin to crumble after the latest setback. Number 2. WWE might want to escalate Dominic's position in the company. Another potential reason Dominic Mysterio lost his title could be to elevate his status within the company. Holding the NXT North American Championship seemingly limited the up-and-coming star's scope in the company. Dominic losing his NXT title opens up multiple possibilities for the Judgment Day member on the main roster. The Stanford-based promotion can now both Dominic in Intercontinental and World Championship feuds on Raw. Number 1 To lay the foundation for a rematch between Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio. Rey Mysterio was not only present at ringside during the NXT deadline match in the corner of Dragon Lee, but also responsible for the latter being inserted into the match after Wesley was sidelined. Following Dominic Mysterio's loss against Lee, he might blame his father for the defeat. He could claim that the new NXT North American champion would never have been part of the match if Rey hadn't intervened. This situation could lead to the Judgment Day member attacking Rey Mysterio again, ultimately resulting in a rematch between the two on a big stage. Given that WrestleMania 40 is not too far away, it's plausible that the company might be planning another father versus some match on the grandest stage of them all. Several important names backstage, responsible for key parts of WWE show. Several top names of the WWE production team are backstage at NXT Deadline this week. This is the final premium live event for NXT this year, and the show is taking place at the Total Mortgage Arena in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels kicked off the show. However, the crowd went wild as cult of personality started playing and CM Punk walked out. The best in the world addressed the fans and even shared a hug with Michaels during the opening segment. Other than Punk, there were several members of the WWE production team backstage. We have an exclusive list of producers for the matches on the card for NXT Deadline. Dragon Lee vs. Dominic Mysterio was produced by Steve Corino. Corino was also listed as the producer for Roxanne Perez vs. Kiana James in a Steel Cage. Matt Bloom and Ani Lorcan pulled double duties as they produced both the Men's and Women's Iron Survivor Challenge. Veteran wrestler and former WWE WWE United States Champion Fit Finlay was listed as the producer for Carmelo Hayes vs. Lexus King. The main event between NXT Champion Ilja Dragunov vs. Baron Corbin was put together by Terry Taylor. The final PLE of the year has already given fans some huge talking points with Dragon Lee defeating Dirty Dom, Trick Williams putting out an unthinkable win in the Men's Iron Survivor Challenge, and Cora Jade returning to the developmental brand. What are your thoughts on the show so far? Dominic Mysterio takes issue with Judgment Day after devastating loss. The former NXT North American Champion Champion Dominic Mysterio was irate after losing the title to Dragon Lee this week at NXT Deadline. Dirty Dom was scheduled to face the upstart Dragon Lee in a singles match for the NXT North American Championship. WB Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio was on commentary and watched the action unfold. Dominic started strong, but Lee fought back strongly towards the final stages of the match. Finally, he caught the Judgment Day member with the ASA DDT for the win. During a digital exclusive interview, Dominic Mysterio was fuming with how the match turned out. He even questioned why no member of the Judgment Day, including Rhea Ripley, was out there to help him. He then stated that he was going back home to Mammy before storming off the set. You all saw what happened to me out there. I am the greatest NXT North American champion that's ever been. Dragon Lee, my deadbeat dad. Where's Judgment Day? Where's Finn? Where's Damian JD, Mammy? You know what? I'm gonna go home to Mammy because Judgment Day runs all and this shouldn't be happening, said Dominic. After the match, Rhea Ripley took to Twitter to share a message for her little Dom Dom. The winner's world champion acknowledged that she was disappointed with the result. However, 
Mammy pointed out that Dominic Mysterio has been the workhorse for WWE all year round and has had tremendous growth as a performer in the last 12 months. She also claimed that Dominic would forever be her champion. It will be interesting to see what the Judgment Day has to say after this loss on Monday Night Raw. Will you tune in to Monday Night Raw this week? Jade Cargill to win the WWE Royal Rumble and face Rhea Ripley. A wrestling veteran has expressed his wish to see one of WWE's most recent signings winning the 2024 Royal Rumble, thereby setting up a title match with Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania 40. The star in question is Jade Cargill, who is yet to make her in-ring debut. However, her time in AEW is a testament to her ability, making her a potential top star as soon as she joins the active scene. Winning the Royal Rumble right during her debut match would certainly set her up for a massive run. Speaking on Sports Kitas, the wrestling Time Machine podcast hosted by Mac Davis. Bill Apter explained how Rhea Ripley could be facing Jade Cargill at WrestleMania next year if things went a certain way. If Rhea Ripley is still the champion at that point, I think Rhea Ripley versus Jade Cargill, I think Jade winning the Royal Rumble, that's the WrestleMania ticket. My opinion. The legendary journalist is clearly very excited to see Jade Cargill's debut match in the Stanford-based promotion. Bill Apter was recently asked about the possibility of Sasha Banks, also known as Mercedes Monet, returning to WWE. Speaking on Sportskeeda's unscripted he stated that if it happened, it could set up a match between her and Jade Cargill. Well, Miss Monet, we don't know yet if she's gonna come back to WWE. She might sign with AEW or Ring of Honor, but I'd love to see her back in WWE. If Jade Cargill who has said, just wait, we are planning things around me that are gonna be really a gem and successful. I think a match against Sasha Banks would be in the cards. I think it would be magnificent, Bill Apter said. As of now, only time will tell how Jade Cargill is planning to make her mark in the company. CM Punk shares backstage photo with his children after appearing at NXT Deadline. After appearing on both Raw and SmackDown, it was CM Punk's turn to appear on NXT. Backstage at Deadline 2023, the best in the world ran into Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez. Jade finally made her return at NXT Deadline after months of absence. Meanwhile, Perez was in action against Kiana James at Deadline, whom she faced in a steel cage match. Taking to his Instagram story, Punk shared a backstage photo with Jade and Perez, who are bitter rivals on screen. The up-and-coming star previously held the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship before Jade betrayed her longtime friend. Here's a picture of me with all my and at Thieg Mendes children, wrote Punk. Bill Apter has discussed the possibility of AJ Lee returning to WWE following CM Punk's comeback. For those unaware, Lee is married to Punk in real life. On Sports Kita Wrestling's Smack Talk, Apter said Lee could undergo the same storyline as Punk. The best in the world is currently testing free agency and has yet to commit to a brand. For the women's division, you think that AJ Lee, lovely wife, might be Roman's to come back and be given the same situation, Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. After added, I think that this would be a great angle to do where AJ Lee goes through the same process that her husband CM Punk goes through. It'd be very compelling with him kind of advising her, and the two of them just trying to decide. On the latest episode of SmackDown, Punk acknowledged Roman Reigns and ran into Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, LA Knight, and Kevin Owens backstage. Are you excited to see which brand Punk will sign with on Monday? WWE superstars neglecting one major aspect of wrestling. WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long has recently criticized a particular aspect of modern-day pro wrestling that superstars still overlook. The art of pro wrestling requires a lot of finesse and technique to look authentic to the audience. While big moves and high-risk spots garner massive reactions from the crowd, Teddy Long believes that the maneuvers recipients should also sell their impact to perfection. On Sportskeeda's Wrestling Time Machine podcast hosted by Mac Davis, the WWE Hall of Famer said, You took the words right out of my mouth. You have to make them believe. They have to believe in you. And it is so simple. What would you do if you were in a real fight? If somebody knocked you on your butt, you know what I mean? What would you do? Would you stay down or would you get up and try to fight back? But if you really got a devastating move, you are gonna stay down. You ain't gonna jump up. Teddy Long was highly impressed with Randy Orton's return to WWE TV at Survivor Series, War Games 2023. The 14-time world champion looked remarkable upon his comeback. On Sports Kita's The Wrestling Time Machine, the Hall of Famer commended the Viper's dedication to maintaining his physique. Yeah, he looked really good man. That means once he got over his surgery and was able to go back to the gym, he went right back to the gym. So that's the thing you gotta do too. You can't quit working out. You gotta keep on going and keeping yourself in shape. Because once you stop, you are like a car out of gas, said Long. With Orton now back in action, what is next for him in WWE remains to be seen. WWE has unbanned Major Word. A recently banned word can now be used again on WWE TV, as confirmed by a current top star. Jay Uso had been using the word yeet on weekly shows for a long time before it was suddenly banned from TV. The promotion took the step in response to reportedly facing issues with the trademarking of the term. An independent wrestler named Casey Huffman had filed for the usage of yeet back in 2021. As per a recent update, Huffman's application stands dismissed. Jay Uso recently tweeted the word yeet via his official Twitter handle. He has confirmed via his 
latest Instagram story that he can use the term yeet again on WWE TV. Jay Uso met Roman Reigns in tribal combat at SummerSlam 2023. Courtesy of Jimmy Uso's betrayal, Jay failed to defeat the tribal chief that night. The Raw superstar recently had a chat with Daily Mail's Alex McCarthy and opened up about who could dethrone Reigns. I like to keep in the family. I think Solo could be the next tribal chief, but he's got a little growing to do. But who knows? Maybe Sami Zayn could come back into it? Solo is a top performer. He's like a sponge. He gets it. All he's about to do is tell him one time, and it clicks with him. He's going to go real far in the business. Like I said, he's got a little growing to do, though. Jay Uso has been one of the most popular acts on WWE Raw for quite some time now. He could face his brother Jimmy Uso at next year's WrestleMania, with the feud possibly kicking off at the Royal Rumble Premium Live event. In the comments section below, drop your reactions to Jay Uso being able to use the word ye again. Ronan Reigns leaving WWE for good Former WWE writer Freddie Prinze Jr. believes Roman Reigns could move to Hollywood after losing his championship at WrestleMania 40. The Tribal Chief captured the Universal Championship in August 2020. Less than two years later, he unified it with the WWE title. The 38-year-old has now been world champion for over 1190 days. While many superstars have attempted to dethrone the bloodline leader, many believe Cody Rhodes would be the one to end Reigns' historic title run. The American Nightmare had a shot at Reigns last April at WrestleMania 39. However, he lost after interference from Solo Sikoa. On Wrestling with Freddie, Prinz Jr. predicted that the 10-time champion would square off against Reigns again at WrestleMania 40 and win the title. He also did not rule out the possibility of the Tribal Chief moving to Hollywood after losing his gold. I think Royal Rumble is, as they say, it begins the road to WrestleMania. The match is Cody Roman Part 2. And this time, he gets over because the bloodline won't be at full strength, and I think he'll finally get over. Then Roman will go to Hollywood and make movies? I don't know. After nearly nine years of absence, CM Pump returned turned to the Stanford-based company last month at Survivor Series War Game. Many have since wondered if his comeback would affect WWE's plans for Cody Rhodes. Freddie Prince Jr. discussed the subject on his Wrestling with Freddie podcast, claiming that Triple H would probably stick to his initial plans. If Vince McMahon was there, then I think that fear is valid. But I think with Hunter, Triple H, in control, what story has he told that hasn't been long-term, and I mean long-freaking-term? I don't think there is one. Bloodline member turning on Roman Reigns following CM Punk's return, Cody Rhodes to capitalize could happen says veteran. Blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing 